Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, week 12 people, come on! I love it! <laughs> First of all, I hope you enjoyed Ndoa Fest last week. Yeah. But second of all, this is the takeout with me, Kev the Rev, and Pastor Angie. Pastor Angie. And so we are over here looking forward because we're starting a new book. We're starting a new book, the most yes. exciting thing. Oh. So we're starting Luke. This is a new book. This is what I want the perspective I want you guys to have. We come talked on. about how this is a different lens, different camera. Yes. It reminds me of a movie that I watched. It's called the Vantage, Vantage, Point. Vantage Point. Oh, that movie was great. It was a great day. movie. But, but I come out and I was like, the movie is actually like 20 minutes. <laughs> come on. Because yeah. the whole movie is about us looking at the scene or the event from different angles. Yes. And so remember, Luke is a different take, a different come angle on, on. on what happened in the life of Jesus and the disciples as yes. they followed him. Yes. Yeah. Mark, uh, Matthew, Mark and Luke and John, all of them are writing from a different angle. Yeah. Yeah. And so Matthew is writing to present Jesus as the king of the Jews. Yeah. Yep. And he presents Jesus as a conquering mm, lion. Mm. Yeah. And then Mark presents Jesus as a suffering servant. That's right. Uh, it's the picture of a, of a ox or, mm. a, or a bull. That's or right. someone Like the yoke is upon yeah. me sort of deal. And then now we get to uh, Luke. Luke and he's presenting Jesus as a son of man. A son of he's man. He's presenting Jesus in his humanity. Exactly. Uh, and there are different things that will point you back to that mm. story. Mm. Um, uh, uh, and keep showing us his humanity. Yes, and you can tell us some of the things that he so does. So what I love that. about it is, first of all, the book was written by a guy called Luke and he was a doctor, Dr. Come Luke. On. I know. I mean, he starts this, the, the book with saying, in as much. In as much. Which, which person <laughs> rates starting with in as much? I might as well be a doctor. Do you start saying... I, know, like I, that. Don't, I don't go to downtown and say, guys, in, in as much as it's Sunday. <laughs> it's not like that. Guys, this week at Family Night, please make sure you write in as in much. much. In as much. Start in it. as much as it's Wednesday. <laughs> I know, right? We know that you're with us in this thing. So we're, we're getting in, we're listening yeah. to a guy called uh, Dr. Luke, and he was writing um, for a friend, I think, Theophilus. Yeah, um, now, that Theophilus, first of all, Pastor Angie, I was almost named Theophilus. <laughs> really? I know, at birth, I was almost named Theophilus. I'm not, I'm not kidding. That would have been so. I would not see you as that. What so happened? You <laughs> what happened is that I was born. Then my dad uh, held me, mm. and he said, "This is the awfulest baby I've ever seen." <laughs> <laughs> really? Who, are, who is anyway, this guy? So the awfulest means <laughs> the awfulest means. Uh, Phyllis friend, Phileo stuff, yeah? And then the God, so the friend of God. Mm. So it could actually be a person. All right. A specific person who was known, known as, as the Ophelas, the friend of God, or it's to humanity, humanity, the friends of God. I love it. And so in that way, he includes everyone Everybody in, in it. that way. Yeah. I love it. And he writes, actually not one, but two books. Yes, he writes this, yes, and then he writes the book of Acts. Come on. And so it's, you know, volume one, then volume two. True. Uh, we're waiting for your book. Volume one and volume I know, two. I know, I know. So you were almost <laughs> named. Anyway, so this guy, in as much. <laughs> in as much. So he wrote this uh, book. The thing you need to note is that he, he wrote in a very interesting way. Because he was a doctor, he wrote with so much detail. True. So his audience, number one, is he was writing to the Greeks. Yes. Um, you need to kind of know that that he was he wrote this book to the Greeks, and so his perspective is different. Yes. He's not writing like Matthew, who was writing to the Jews, yes. or even like uh, Mark, who was writing to Jews who are going to who are suffering. Yes. His guy is writing specifically to the Greeks, and that's why he quotes very. Mm. He doesn't quote the Old Testament as much, exactly, because the audience may not know the, the Old exactly Testament. the Old Testament, and that's why. His genealogy doesn't go back to only mm. Abraham. It goes back to Adam, I love where it. the entire humanity is included. Its lineage from. It's beautiful, yeah. isn't it, how he writes? Yeah. So note that when you're reading it so that you, you, you have that perspective, that different lensing. I'm going to listen to this a little bit differently. True. Then because he's a doctor, there, there's a way he writes in detail. Mm. He writes, when somebody he meets, he talks about the miracles. Please take note as you're reading that he doesn't just say there was a man who had leprosy. Nope. He says the man was full. Full of, of leprosy. leprosy. <laughs> because according to the to the tradition that time, you could, if you had a skin condition, any rash, they would say you have some leprosy. Yeah. They would wait for some time. Then mm. they say, now you are full, full of, of leprosy. leprosy. So yeah. when he's saying that, he's saying this man, his body was 
completely covered, meaning that the person was isolated, mm. meaning that the person could not connect with society, that when if they walked, they had to be shouting, unclean, I, unclean. I so you knew mm. this person was full of leprosy. Mm. So he writes giving very detailed accounts. He writes about the paralytic. Yeah. He, he, he gives us a description saying this guy was paralyzed. Not, from the waist down. Yeah, from the waist down. It wasn't at the, the guy just, you know, couldn't walk. Other guys would say he couldn't walk. Yeah, no, it's not oh. that. <laughs> it wasn't that. Paralytic. He was a paralytic. From the waist yeah. down. <laughs> I love hey. it. This guy gave us full details of things. I and know. then even in um in, in how he writes, because many scholars like the book of Luke, mm. even the gospel movies, which is like how many hours? I think it's three or six hours long. I yeah. think each movie is three hours. Yeah. The gospel of Luke. The guy writes with such detail. Mm. So he writes the dates and the times of things. You'll notice that he says, you know, when, when John started ministry, he says, at the time of this Caesar, ah. at this time, her, which Herod was ruling yes, because he He's trying yeah. to date it and point it in time. Wow. And so theologians love it. Historians love it because it becomes a reference point for them wow. about how other things were happening at the time. And it's because doctors need dates. Yeah, this exactly. started. When did this rush start? Yes. When did this start? Yes. So they, they have that historical reference of exactly. records and stuff. I and love And so it. Luke puts Jesus on the map. Actually, mm. they use Luke when putting the gospel or the, or the gospel in the map mm. in history. And so they use Luke a lot. And so I love how he writes, open your eyes and see the different perspective wow. uh, in it. Yeah. The other things you need to note are he also brings worship Oh, to, the, to, to, the, to the to uh, to the the gospels. Yes. And so he writes very differently. From the onset, you'll already begin to see him bringing worship. So it begins with Zach Zachariah. Him and his wife have not conceived for a long time. He's in the temple and then he can't speak because God gave a prophetic word about yeah. him having a child. I mean, the, he saw an angel. Number one, angels haven't come for a while. I then know. the guy says, how will I know? I was like, dude, You've just seen an angel. <laughs> How will I know that I'm going to have a child? I'm like, dude, yeah. I think that was enough. The angel must have died. Anyway, <laughs> just laughing. We've yeah, just come from... He pressed mute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know these guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me tell you the funny thing. We've just come from uh, the Ndoa Fest. Yeah. So I was thinking about it and I was like, so for nine months, the guy didn't talk to his wife. Ooh. For nine whole months. I think God, it was a blessing. You can imagine her saying, can we go to toy market and buy SG diapers? You see, only a man could think like that. Because even my husband did. Oh, So in my head, I was like, but then on the converse, he was stuck listening to his wife talk. For nine months. Because... Oh, he couldn't talk, but he could, he could talk, hear. He could talk, but he could hear. Oh, so okay. I'm like, maybe I just follow him in the house. So, you know, I was thinking. <laughs> and then he can't respond. <laughs> yeah, do a first, do a first, man. Anyway, <laughs> so for nine months, then he holds his son, wow. uh, says his name, confirms his name is John, and then he starts speaking. Mm. And when he starts speaking, it says that he burst into song. Wow. The man I mean, starts speaking. The first thing he does, he burst into song and worships the yeah. king of kings and the lord of lords. And then he gives a prophetic word. He holds his child and gives a prophetic word over his son. Hey, Come it on. just made me think, have I got a prophetic word for my children? Wow. Yeah. How, what, what is a word that I'm believing God for that I can sing it over my mm. children? I, when and recorded. I, and record. So this is what I do usually, guys. When my children are eating, sometimes I sing over them that I am pleased. Because I know that that's what our father does. Wow. So I sit and I say, I, I sing to Zola and say, uh, you know, just random songs. And I'm like, I'm proud of you, Zola. I celebrate you, Zola. I think you're amazing. Kwame, Turi, the person who has finished the food. And I'm like, this is what the Lord does over us. Rejoice over wow. your children. So now I have high expectation for a prophetic word for each of my children, even as I read this. Wow. Now, wow. Th the music just doesn't, doesn't end there. Yeah. I love the beginning because in the first few pages you'll see, um, so, you know, Elizabeth gets pregnant, Mary gets pregnant, they meet... And then, prophesy. Prophesy. Elizabeth has a prophetic word immediately for Mary. I'm like, well, did you give me my word today? But I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. I'm waiting for my word. Eh? Uh, Q, I, I, I say, I asked you for my word already. I, I said, know. you are coming to me with sake. I'm like, give me my word. I was like, I love it. In fact, I said, what if in the kingdom, that's how it was to be believers together? Mm. That when you meet, that when you gather, you come knowing this man could have a word for and me. And rejoice and over I each rejoice other. And I rejoice over it. In fact, what happens is immediately after that, Mary bursts into song. I was like, what? Wow. She bursts into song and celebrates what God is doing in her life and for the nation, mm. what God is going to do. I love it because I, this story is so powerful because Zachariah and... Um, 
Elizabeth, then they had given up. Huh? Mm. They had reached a place where they're like, we had tried for a child, his story is over. You know, it Let even, remember it was a doctor ra- writing. So yes. the doctor wrote and said, beyond childbearing years. I know. So he was specific. <laughs> it wasn't that they were just married for a long I time. Know. He was like, in fact, it was beyond childbearing years. Then God comes and says, you're going to have a child. Then in, in the midst of all this, they meet together with their friends. God answers their prayer. They mm. now have a child. This young girl, 14, God gives her a child. And then her response is, may your will be done. Come she on. says, I know this is referring to what uh, what was prophesied mm. in the time of Abraham? I was like, I which fourteen year old? How do you? Does I your know. son know? I don't know whether if my son had a prophecy, he'll say, "Let it to be. Mm. Let it be to me mm. according to according thy, to thy word. word." Because I know that this was the word given for Abraham. <laughs> this was a prophecy given to my father, Papa Kilo. It mm. is fulfilling the word that ah. you gave him. Wow. Yeah, and and for our family for generations wow. to come. Do, do as you please. I was like, man, there's a way I need to raise my child to understand. Like I keep, t- I keep telling my children, your, your, your family is, is this family mm. of Abraham. Mm. So I keep, I keep telling her, saying, we're part of a great legacy. Come on. I say, and when God speaks to you, cause he will, mm. this is the response I desire. It's changed the way I parent because I want them to expect that God will speak to them about their future. Wow. And this God, this king has their plan set out. Mm. So Mary responds that way. They meet for to hang out and they have a worship session. Mm. I was like, man, DG is going to be lit this week mm. because you come knowing in that DG meeting, there's a word for me. Come on. You come to church knowing no matter who I meet, there's somebody I'm going to meet because God uses men to, to bring him praise. God yeah. uses people to give prophetic words. And so they have this moment. Yeah. And then they go to the temple mm. and they met, they yes. met this man who yeah. had been in the temple for so long yeah. and he does the same thing. He prophesied mm. and speaks over the child. I love uh, it. Uh, Anna, the prophetess, Anna again. Yeah, she was just there in the temple. Yeah. Prophesy and sing over the... Over the and I think we can do that. Mm. One of the ways we've learned to do it is saying, I see in you. Yeah. We may not have, well, I don't have a prophetic word. I don't think it was... We are the one in later years who see it. This was prophetic. Mm. But to them, it was words of affirmation. Amen. It was words of Amen. encouragement. It Amen. was words of, you know, um, for Mary, actually, she's sort of repeating the same prayer that mm. Anna made mm. back when she got. Um, yeah, yeah, that's true. That when she got, uh, you know, Samuel. And so one of the things you can just say, hey, I see in you someone who can, mm. I see in you someone who has this strength. I see in you uh, this and that. Yeah. I love it. Come on. And I love that they went to do a, a ritual in mm. church. Yes. And in fact, me, I always love it because I felt like God gave this this pastor, um, this priest, a prophetic a word for him. He said, you will see in your time. It wasn't a story for everybody. Mm. So he gives him a word and says, you yourself, you'll see. Yeah. When he holds the baby, he, imagine I was like, how many babies did he hold? Mm. Then he held this one and he knew. This he starts it. crying. He says, I know. I've this seen is, it. I've seen the king. He says, now I can die. Thank you, Father, for allowing me the privilege to mm. hold the child. I was like, what a personal, in fact, I, it shows me how intimate God can be mm. and that he can give you a word it's not necessarily you know this big it can be a big thing can be a small thing but it can give you a word that's just for you that you don't even have to you know hold it just you you hold the child and you're like thank you father allowing me to see it Mm. allowing me to be a part of it to hold the child wow but the other side of of it that i see is god there are some of us who are already holding the child of the Mm. promise in our hands today but maybe we haven't paused long enough to say lord Thank you. Thank this you. car used to be a prayer yeah, item. Yeah. The house I mean used to be a prayer yeah, item. Yeah. The husband, the wife I used to, uh, I mean I have used to be a prayer item, still is, but they used to be a prayer <laughs> item. <laughs> I don't know whether we come back and said, you know, I'm I'm holding the promise right now. You're holding now. a miracle. Pastor Angie, this phone used to be a prayer item mm. for real, for real. I'm holding the promise right exactly. now. Exactly. Thank you, Father. You may now take your servant. I know, right? <laughs> Thank you, God. Not yet, Lord. We need you. Please, please. please. Father, let's just your story. I love it. Yeah. And I think that it just, it makes me rejoice. In fact, it makes me say I have such high expectation when I go to church. Mm. And I love even more Mary's response. I mean, because he said some, uh, the, that guy said some scary things about mm. Jesus. He's like, mm. he's going to pierce you. I was like, eh. I know. Yeah. But I love that she pondered it in her heart. Yes, she does. And I said, she doesn't. Tell everybody she doesn't, you know, become dramatic and say which type of prophet is mm. leave him. She treasures, she just the, treasures words. the word. And I said, God, give me that discipline, that posturing to just treasure your word in Come my on. heart. So good. Uh, and that you're able to speak at any time using man, mm. uh, using your word, just 
walking in expectation that that every day I can meet somebody who's going to speak to me yeah, and, and give me does a word. That a lot, eh? mm. the, 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 the shepherds speak and she treasures the mm. words in the heart. Uh, I think there's a time when Jesus uh, is lost in the temple. I'm going to yeah. be seeing that yeah. in a short while. Uh, Jesus is lost in the temple. They, they, they look for him. I don't know how many days you've been going without Jesus. They went for a couple of days without <laughs> without Jesus. Then they had to look for Jesus. Uh, thank God, they, you know, they went back. But again, just say some words and she treasures the words in her heart. I think that's what you can do. Because as you go through this new gospel, we've gone through Matthew and Mark. It's very easy for you to just walk through the mm. gospel. But treasure the words that Luke is saying in your heart. Let them not just be the words of Matthew and the mm. words of Luke. Let them be, uh, you know, new words for you. Treasure them in your heart and say, Lord, speak to me afresh even as I go through this third exactly. gospel. Exactly. Yeah. Show me how you are the son of man. Come Show on. me how you, you're moving in everyday situations, everyday circumstances, and that I can hear you, I can see you, I can feel you, I can touch you and know that you're present. So good. And that's the reason why I love Luke. I love how he he writes. I love his style because it's very different mm. and it's very, to me, it's a very realistic perspective. True. And so coming to this uh, this week, coming to this season of reading the book with that perspective to say, show me that you are the son of man. Show me that you can interrupt my situation, interrupt my day, and actually have high expectation that reading the New Testament won't just be, I read it. Mm. It will be that God spoke his word. The family night I met with my DG in my office, wherever it is, a word of prophecy, an affirmation will happen. Mm. Uh, and God will speak directly into your life into your situation and you will respond in giving God worship, in giving him praise, in giving him glory. Come on. I love it. So good. And so I'm looking forward to this entire week. Uh, mm. um, uh, as you read through, you'll notice, you know, Elizabeth and Zechariah, as you've mm. said, you'll notice Meli. Uh, Meli. Meli. Sorry. Uh, it's a slippery slope. My ancestors are working <laughs> over time. Guys. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> but I you'll notice it. Mary and Joseph, you'll notice um, the, the shepherds, yes. uh, you'll notice again the genealogy of Jesus, you'll notice that it's different from different Matthew. Different from Matthew. Yeah, because Matthew drives to Joseph, mm. but uh, Luke drives to, to Adam, uh, to Adam, but also to Mary. Yes, it uh, starts so you, from Mary. Yeah. Yes, you're going to notice that as well. Uh, you'll notice the temptation of Jesus. Mm. They have been test, uh, test, uh, tried and tested again in the wilderness uh, by the time we're in chapter 4. Um, and then, uh, yes, this week ends by the, uh, in chapter five, uh, verse uh, chapter five, verse sixteen. Uh, looking forward as Jesus now calls the disciples uh, to him, the first bunch of disciples uh, to him. Cannot yeah. wait. I hope you have a blessed uh, week. I pray that you have a blessed season. I pray that God will speak to you mightily and that your response will be your worship. Amen. God bless Amen. you. Thank you all. See you next week.